Today we've taken a historic step. We have reached a deal on the recovery package. German Chancellor Angela Merkel in April said COVID-19 represented the most serious threat the European Union has ever faced. Now, a few devastating months later, the bloc's 27 nations have agreed on an economic plan to rescue the Union. Wir haben damit die Weichen für die finanziellen Grundlagen der Europäischen Union für die nächsten sieben Jahre gestellt und gleichzeitig eine Antwort auf die größte Krise seit Bestehen der Europäischen Union gegeben in Form des Wiederaufbaufonds. What's in the package? In short, EU leaders have agreed on a 750 billion euro recovery fund. This includes 390 billion in grants and 360 billion in low interest loans. The cash will come from bonds sold on behalf of the EU as a whole with repayments out of the EU budget. Because Germany and France contribute the most to the EU's budget, they will shoulder the greatest financial burden for this plan. And it signals a dramatic shift for the Germans who have traditionally opposed any form of debt mutualization, or simply put, issuing joint debt as a collective. Germany, however, says the fund is just a one-off concession during the crisis. Guten Tag. The funds unleash vital financial support, especially for southern states like Italy, Spain and Greece that are among those worst hit by COVID-19. But it's also a show of solidarity from Europe's wealthier nations and a challenge to doomsayers proclaiming the slow demise of cross-border cooperation in a time of resurgent nationalism. Almost one-third of the funds is earmarked for fighting climate change and together with the bloc's next 1 trillion euro seven-year budget will constitute the biggest green stimulus package in history. But it's not without its problems. To get a deal over the line, provisions to combat sliding democratic standards in parts of Eastern Europe were weakened at the last minute. And that's a problem for the EU, which puts the rule of law and liberal democracy at its core. And of course, there's no guarantees the injection will bear fruit or that more problems won't emerge down the line. It may also simply not be enough. The pandemic appears far from over and the full scale of the damage isn't yet known. For Bloomberg, I'm Mark Davies. For more on this topic, check out the links below and follow Bloomberg Quick Take for all your global news.